Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an affordable, on a budget and pocket friendly drugstore makeup for beginners. I've already primed my face and moisturized and all of that stuff. So today we have this baby over here. I'm sure that like everyone's probably familiar with this foundation. Let me just bring it closer for you to see. This is the Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me foundation. It retails for $59.95. Then I guess I'm in the shade 359 because it's the closest shade to my skin tone. So I'm just going to continue with this one. I was complaining because I never really liked this foundation. I don't know. Like I first started using it when I started makeup. And I just made a decision that, you know what, I didn't like this foundation. But then a foundation for 59 brand. I'm gonna give it a second chance like I believe in second chances and I'm going to give Maybelline fit me a second chance and this is me giving them a second chance because what do you even mean when was the last time I saw a foundation under 100 rand basically and it's even crazier because on Superbalist it's even cheaper like they currently have a promotion I think and on Superbalist it's retailing for 52 bucks which is much cheaper than um, what clicks, what this came is selling it for. So you decide which one you pick between the two. And you know what? I'm not mad. Well, not yet. So I'm not mad. Because so I would like a little bit more coverage than this. And I feel like another thing that put me off with this foundation, like when I was using it, is that it says matte. So it's a matte foundation and I have dry skin. And whenever I tried applying it, I'd end up just looking like you know a lizard but they did send me like a whole bunch of the fit me foundations and I was like okay let me try this one more time like let me give it a second chance because honestly maybe there's some way that I can you know finesse it and make it work because when I used this for like the first time I just started doing makeup and I was just like okay maybe I can make it work because I probably know more than I knew back then so because at that time I didn't know anything about primer I didn't know anything about like moisturizing your face before applying um, makeup and foundation like I didn't know the importance of skin prepping so now that I do maybe that will help me um, be able to use this foundation better than I did at that time I'd recommend that if you are a dry skin person like me, you focus more on like moisturizing and skin prepping if you are going to use this foundation and it will just work out beautifully. Are you joking? For 52 Rand, go buy the stuff. Next I have my all-time favorite concealer, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This is what it looks like. Um, I've spoken about this for a few times on my videos so i'm sure you guys are familiar with this product and this concealer is also just under a hundred bucks it currently retails for 76 76 or 78 rand at clicks and you can also find it at discount but i just know that at clicks it's 76 or 78 rand Anything under a hundred bucks can take all of my coins and don't think that just because this um, Concealer is under a hundred bucks then that means that it sucks or it's not good This is literally one of the best concealers that I've used like I've used this concealer Since my early days of doing makeup and I've absolutely loved it Mainly because like it has a really good coverage mine is just almost out and that should be an indicator that you know I use it quite often and me using it quite often obviously means that I like it and it's a good product just gonna let my concealer sit for a bit and I just added like a lighter shade um, on top of that one that I just applied because I'm going for that bright under eye look and while I wait for it to sit I'm gonna go in with my contour and I'm using a contour stick from um, makeup revolution and again it's another buy the shit type of product so this one is just over well actually not over because it's still in the 100 rand range it's 109 rand 
so that's how much it retails for and you can just get it at like clicks or this game What are you saying about my under 100 Rand Wet n Wild concealer? I think it looks flawless. Per, I honestly just feel like you know what, God should just like bless me with some money so that I can start doing high end makeup tutorials now, like comparing high end products um, with affordable drugstore products because I've been doing these affordable um, videos for you guys. And I just feel like it's time for me to start doing high end. I just need the money. I just need the capacity because I don't have the capacity. But honestly, not all like high end products are worth it. Not all of them are worth those prices that they're being sold for. And you must definitely like never look down on these affordable on a budget makeup products that i'm showing you guys right now despite the price range of the makeup um it also depends on can you make it work do you know how to you know finesse it and just make it look like what it needs to look like thank the lord we have a new powder to use today and today i'll be using the revolution makeup revolution banana powder this is what it looks like if you watch my videos you know i have been using the candid revlon candid for the longest time ever and i just had to you know try something different this powder retails for 158 rand at clicks and again it's not over the 100 rand um milestone it's just within the 100 rand milestone which i think is okay um because also i feel like this is the normal or this is the average price range for um setting powders because so is my revlon powder it's somewhere along the 150 somethings or the 160s and so is the yardly translucent powder it's also amongst those numbers if not more so i feel like this is the normal price or average price range for powders I feel like it melts really nicely onto my skin like do you see that so it just gives me like that blurred I don't know what to call it that blurred blurry effect on my face like I, don't, I really don't know what to call it but it looks really just beautiful it's giving UK black girl basically for blush I've actually used this blush in my previous um affordable makeup tutorial is the essence the blush and it looks like this obviously i'm gonna recommend it again and i'm gonna use it again because it's affordable and it's under 100 bucks in don't be my fire blush especially this one because it has like a really nice shade it just has like something flirtatious to it which is why i really really like it I don't usually put highlighter on but today I'm just going to choose to be bougie and extra and just add some highlights. So I'm using this, um, it's the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Highlighter Palette and it only has two shades. This is what it looks like, I've had this for a while so hence why it looks a bit rough honestly this has to be the most the smallest and probably the most affordable um, palettes in my opinion because eyeshadow palettes are ridiculously expensive so I'm using the Wet n Wild color icon palettes 
and this one is the walking on eggshells palette and it looks like this I'm gonna start with this nude and then I'm gonna go in with this dark brown and then I'm just gonna choose one of these shimmers maybe this one or that one I feel like this is a really good um, palette like I haven't used it it's my first time using it but I know Wet n Wild has some really nice makeup products and I just love the fact that um, this is like an all nude palette small you can like just fit it in your bag and touch up whenever you want to touch up your makeup or your eyeshadow so it has nude shades which is perfect for someone who's starting off with makeup because like some people are afraid of makeup you know they don't want like too much makeup or too dramatic or just like bright colors so this is perfect for all of those people who don't want um, anything too much on their eyes now I'm going in with the darker brown and it actually has like as you guys can see I feel like it has a really good coverage it actually does have a really good coverage so um, now I'm just gonna add one of these bright shimmers in this area Because I want this eyeshadow to be a bit extra, I'm just going to add some eyeliner and I'm using the Essence Extra Long Lasting Eyeliner Pen. My eyes look so naked right now, but for mascara, I'm using the Rimmel London One Deluxe um, Volume Mascara. And this retails for 169 a clicks. This is the final product. And you know what? You know what? It's giving it's giving high end like nobody can tell me anything about a foundation under 100 rand nobody can tell me about products under 100 rand it's giving high end I spent a whole lot of coins on this makeup with that being said we've come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed see you in my next video